Ladies and gentlemen, with Ida coming out in only a couple of hours from now, um, I got lucky and got into the creator server. So I'm actually able to give you guys more accurate and up-to-date data that is going to be coming out for the characters. I'm super excited. I'm stoked. Uh, my original plan was going to be giving you guys like a, this is what to expect to come. And then when the character actually gets launched, I was then going to give you guys the more definitive what their skills are going to be. And just a quick and just like a firm quick gloss and breakdown but now that i'm into the test servers i am actually able to now get access to these characters to look at them to see what their builds are and to give you guys a more accurate description without me having to go and try and translate things um, it's pretty safe to assume that this is going to be the final build for Ida when she comes out but again until officially launches Things are subject to change, so I have to go ahead and say that. And the next time when I start doing videos um, for the next character that's going to be coming out, which is Simona, I will definitely be able to give you guys a little bit more wiggle room in order to sit there and decide. And, you know, like I said, give you guys more accurate information. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Take a look at Ida. Take a look at her skills and see if she's someone that you're going to be interested in wanting to get. If you did watch my last video, I'm going to save a lot of the big explanations and the long drawn out explanations um, for that video this is just going to be a quick gloss over so you can understand what you're getting if you decide that you want to pull her so first we're going to look at her trait which Ida performs assisting attack if you want to know what assisting attack is it prepares to launch an attack on an enemy within a certain range when the target is under an enemy I'm sorry a target is under an ally's active single target attack it, it attacks it simultaneously so this basically means that whenever an ally is attacking a single target that is within range then Ida is going to go ahead and attack them simultaneously so you're going to get those attacks um this the starting off of this skill of the trait is going to be within four tiles of herself and it's going to deal 30 percent physical damage the skill can be used up to one time but if you go ahead and you max her out and you get her all the way up to the five stars, Ida's going to have the effect is improved to increase Ida's attack by 12%. So she's going to get a 12% attack buff. And then she's going to perform assisting attack against all enemies within five tiles, dealing 40% physical damage, and she can do it twice a turn. So long story short, she is going to be able to do significant, well, not significant. She's going to be able to do some extra assisted damage, and she's going to kind of act as a second DPS, um, a second damage dealer, uh, for the most part, because of that 40% scaling. It's not a huge amount of damage, but it's still added damage. And then if you give her skills or um, not skills, if you give her gear, which gives her like 20% is a tarot that gives her 20% damage when she's attacking outside of her turn and then there's a weapon as well i do believe that gives that um she'll be doing more damage outside of turn so she's going to be doing um she's going to be doing more damage outside of her turns um than that 40 percent stack so above all you probably want to give her a lot of attack and then just um give her those gear and that tarot so then that'll allow her to be able to um that allow her to be doing some more significant damage. And actually, if we can look right here, it's this one right here, Destruction of the Tower. When it's not the character's turn, damage dealt increases by 20%, which is a really nice ability. And then when you're looking at the bows, um, this one right here is a pretty decent bow, which increases damage dealt by 16%, uh, but for each one additional tile away, it decreases. So basically, you're, if you're, you're going to want to hit people who are up close, and it does more damage than hitting people far away. And since she has skills that kind of already go with this, it's not a bad weapon to go with. Um, Let's see, not the cornucopia, the star raid crossbow increases crit rate by 6%. If a single target attack deals crit damage, there is a 50% chance to dealing additionally 20% uh, P attack as piercing damage. This is also not bad. I wouldn't oppose from getting this as well. More crit damage and more crit rate is always a bonus in my opinion. Let's see, we got the Longbow of Mar uh, Martyrs, increases the P attack by 2% after a single target attack. 
I'm sorry, after a single target active attack, it deals damage and inflicts Longbow of Martyr, which is caused by the gear effect increase. Eh, this one's okay. Um, it does give a damage increase, but I'm not too much of a fan of this one. Aryan Combat Bow increases P attack by 1%, deals 10% more damage when not in the character's turn. This is the bow right here. The Aryan Combat Bow is gonna be the bow that I think is gonna be the best bow on her. And this is the one that I would recommend you putting on her and go combining it with that Tower of Destruction, which is just gonna give her an above all increase. Um, if you look at this, if you get it up to five stars, it's going to increase by 5% and deal 20% more damage when it's not in character's turn. So you're going to be initially doing 40% more damage, which again, I think is great. And then if you're looking at the gear right here, uh, I'm going to keep it a straight buck. True lens, best way to go. Give her the true lens for that P attack. And then when attacking from a high lane, it gets increased. Um, increased crit rate i think that's going to more likely be the best way to go honestly any archer this is going to be the best um gear to go with hands down um let's go ahead and jump into the skills real fast so she has two trees she has support and she has damage so under rank one her support it's going to be a fortification which it just drops a box on the target tile um i think this works with one of her passives that gives her um more uh it drops down damage it drops down uh, decreased damage that she takes, um, but we'll double check that in a minute. And then this one right here under the damage is going to be increased attack by 30% and ignores 40% of target's defense when attacking enemies with shield. So a 30% attack is pretty good, but ignoring the 40%, not everybody's going to have shields. Um, I think this is going to be pretty good on any... This is going to be probably good because I think there's a couple of bosses that can pull up shields, which I think is pretty nice. It gives that uh, defense shred. But other than that, um, this is just a 30% 30, 30 steroid. Moving to the rank threes, we have under the support, um, grants all allies within three tiles of her. Uh, damage three, ma uh, magic defense two, and move one. So the damage three increases damage by 30%, which is phenomenal. The the way that the damage um, kind of scales with and kind of adds to the damage. I don't know the math of it, but I do know that 30% damage is supposed to be better than, uh, let's say, 30% P attack. Um, the M defense is really nice. 40% M defense is really good against content like the weapon trial that does for the mage. Um, the third trial, I believe. That's, that's going to be really good for the third trial. And then the move one, you can never go wrong with move. Uh, anything that gives you more movement is fantastic. And then you got the disruption right here, which is uh, debuff that includes the following debuffs. Um, this right here, she'll dispel all those from the targets. So anything that um, makes it so that their passive reaction skills, assists, and these, kind of, these little debuffs right here, all of these get removed. This is a really good skill um, for support. And then if you go into her next one, for rank three under the damage, she gets the barrel throw, which uh, it does. it's an instant skill that she deals 20% damage to all enemies within one tile of the target. So if you look at it right here, this, the range is two to four, but then it has an AOE of it. So wherever that barrel lands, it's gonna hit around that, um, that three by three. And everything that's hit there is gonna have the liqueur status. And that's a, buff, a debuff that reduces speed by 150 and move distance by one tile and M defense by 40%. So this right here is really nice um, in slowing down your targets. Uh, this is a really good skill for when if you're doing content where the bosses are generally fat. Mm, sorry, if the bosses are generally faster than a lot of members on your team then she's going to be able to give them a nice significant slow and drop down their uh, tiles. Um, of course, that doesn't mean content where they are immune to a lot of different buffs um, or they're allowed, to, they're immune to debuffs, but this is still a really good utility skill. Um, definitely something to look into. The rank five, under the support, you're going to have the reaction decreases the damage taken by 40%. And if there is any item within one tile, oh, I'm sorry, I take that back. Decreases the damage taken by 40% if there is an item within one tile around the character. So this right here, 
works with that rank one skill. So it's gonna make it so that she's gonna get a 40% decrease in damage when she's near boxes or I think boulders counts. Um, basically any items that you can interact with on the map, she's gonna get that 40%. That's really not bad. Um, I know in my other video, the way that was translated a little bit, I translated to saying characters. No, that's not the case. That's actually incorrect. Uh, it's gonna be items. Um, yeah, it's gonna be items, which is pretty cool. And then her rank five on the damage, when hit by an active attack from the front or side, it performs a basic attack to strike back. Um, so this is right here is just a counter attack that deals 70% of basic attacks damage and effect can be activated once per turn. Um, I'm always a big fan of counter attacks personally. I think counter attacks is really nice. And if you're going to be using that bow on her as well as that um, Tower of Destruction, that's going to be additional 40% on top of the 70%. So it's going to be doing a lot of damage on, um, on top of that. It's not going to be mind blowing, but it's going to be significant enough that it's going to hurt. And if you got her at rank five, then she's going to be doing two of those. So you see where I'm going. She's going to be doing a lot of off. She's going to be doing more off screen damage as a oh, sorry, off turn damage as opposed to on turn damage. Um, because she, off turn she has to if you get this skill she's gonna have to counter attack and then she's gonna have the once per hit until you hit rank three and then at rank three is gonna give her two hits so three times she's gonna be hitting off so that I think I'm pretty sure like if you do the math that's going to balance out um, more than just what she does on that on her actual turn so which is why I think those two items are gonna be really good to get with her if you go with the ranks, once you get the rank seven, you have the support skill right here. It's going to be rupture armor, which is before a single target attack. She gains 50% chance to inflict P defense on the target. That P defense two is going to be a 40% physical defense, uh, which is a amazing um, debuff. I think that's going to be a really good debuff to have on somebody, especially if you're using units that has a lot of physical damage like Seekers or any of the Archers or anyone really, the, the Breakers who have a high amount of attack. That 40% is going to be really good and it's going to hurt. And then this passive right here, if there are any items within one tile of the character, increases attack by 15% and allows the character to move again by two tiles within initiative within initiate an active attack um this one's not bad so this one is kind of the same thing with that box on that one right here if you drop this or if you're near any type of item she's going to get a 15 percent attack buff then and that's going to allow her to move up to two tiles after she's doing an attack it's okay i'm not a big fan of it personally i think this is a waste of a level seven rank seven skill the attack steroid is fine but I, if um, if anything has taught me when playing games like this, anytime you do a debuff that does, that lowers their defenses, rather it's physical or magic defense, these always tend to balance out a lot more in the long run as opposed to just giving her a 15% attack and then a move. I personally would not get this barricade fight. So next we're going to talk about is the rank 9 skill. So with the rank 9 skill, um, if you look under the support, what it does is that it gives shield break 1 before attacking. Again, like I told you about the other shield break instances, um, I don't think this is really good because you're very you're very rarely going to go up against enemies who have shields. I'm sure there's going to be bosses that come out in the later in the future, which are going to have the shield, which is going to make her shine. But I think that for the most part, the majority of the time you're going to want to go with this this one right here with this the one under the damage uh this skill gives you two dispels um whenever she hits a target i think this is far better uh, a lot better for utility it weakens the targets it removes their buffs that you know allows them to do significantly more damage or removes their buffs that gives them more survivability i think this is going to be far better especially if you know let's say they have four buffs on them you can do hit them once with her regular attack and then when she does an auto attack with the assistant skill, the aid assistant, it's gonna hit them again, which then is gonna give them another removal of the debuff. I think that's just far better application of it. Um, I'm not a big fan of this skill right here personally for the um, shield break attack. And then finally with the rank 11, 
I would definitely recommend getting both of these skills. Um, the one under the support is really good because it not only gives everyone around you plus one energy, it also makes her perform assisting attack and it makes it so that her damage is increased by 130%. And this also increases the number of times that she can do assisted attack. So what that means is that if you got her one star to two star, then she's gonna be doing three assist attacks within that one turn. And if you got her three star and up, then she's going to be doing up to four assisted attacks. So with that 130% damage steroid, that's going to be really good, especially if you gave her the bow and the um, the tarot for the, the, the tower one that gives you 20% um whenever she someone's attacking off their turn so i think this is right here is just a fantastic great skill to have and then i would also get the storm sniping because i love this skill as well and i think that with this skill it's 120 percent straight up but then the further it goes the more damage it goes so they say with the first adjacent skill uh the first adjacent grid is going to be zero then you got one, two, three, four. So this is gonna. This has the possibility of being a hundred and sixty percent damage if you hit them at full max range. Which you know, if you're planning your skills properly, you should already be doing that. And that's gonna be a really powerful skill. Um, yeah, it does take four energy, um, but if you have a significant amount of attack, then this up right here should be a very powerful hit, a single target. Uh, above all, like it just makes it so that with all the skills, Ida is gonna be a fantastic single target attacker. It's gonna be really good when you're having teams where they're gonna be doing a lot of, um, if you have a lot of DPS that are going to be uh, hitting the targets around her, this allows her to proc her trait. Um, I like Ida a lot. I think that if I was going to pull for her, I would definitely pull for her. Um, and I think one of my favorite things as well with her is that she has the um, area camp. So that means that she's going to get Dottalion's, um leader, leader aura, which is really good in my opinion. Um, I think that above all she's going to be a really good pickup for anybody who decides that they want to get her and again if you're going to want to, if you want to know what build for a gear i would use i would use the irian combat bow get that maxed out because then when you get it maxed out you get the ability to um to make it 20 percent and then i would get the destruction of the tower for the tarot because that's going to be 20 percent and then if you get lucky with the pulls on it make sure you have the rainbow there which we'll talk about that later but um if you get lucky with the pulls uh, not the pulls the rolls on this there's a another ability which adds on to this i do believe it gives 30 percent damage ignore or 20 percent damage ignore i don't remember i have it on my main account um but i think this is really good uh, well, not think I know this is going to be a really good build for her and because she does a lot of attacks that are going She's gonna be doing more attacks that is not going to be in her turn as opposed to attacks that are going to be on her turn And then again when it comes to the trinkets the true lens is just gonna be the best one hands down um, I think the true lens is going to give the best value Especially when you're hitting people from highland buff and then when you get that highland buff It's just gonna you know it's going to increase the damage so yeah that 12 percent crit is going to be really nice and if you max it out i think it goes up to let's take a look at that real fast i want to say 20 yeah 20 percent. so it's going to give you that 20 percent uh crit rate and then the five percent p attack which the five percent is is whatever it's still an attack buff um but that 20 percent crit rate is really what's going to be really good so okay so yeah guys that's it um, we're done with her quick review and like I said before from here on out now that I have access and I'll be able to see these things I'll be able to give you guys more detailed more accurate information I'm not going to be stuck sitting there trying to translate anything so I'm really excited and happy about that um, but yeah so thank you so much to the devs again I appreciate for you giving me this opportunity and I can't wait to see you guys at the next one because we do have a lot of videos that's going to be coming out this week and um, I'm excited for it so I'm going to be pushing out a lot of videos this week um, and I will see See you guys later in the next one. Take care of yourselves. Peace.